Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you my 7 must have foods that I need to meal prep for the week. First I'm going to start off with quinoa. I like to use the white one specifically. I like the taste the most. And you're going to put 1 cup quinoa to 2 cups water. I do use a rice cooker for this. It's super simple to use and it cooks while you're prepping everything else. When the quinoa is done cooking, the switch just goes from cook to warm and you're ready to put it into a meal prep container. It's great to use in salads as a side dish as well as to coat your chicken with it. Try it. Next up is some corn on the cob. I actually did not put this in my 7 must-haves. This is just a pregnancy craving. Um, I pretty much ate this in one sitting with lots of butter and salt, but it was easy to do. So I'm just sharing it with you guys if you love corn as much as I do. Next up is some sweet potato, and I usually prep four or five sweet potatoes at once. I personally hate cutting sweet potatoes. They are so much harder than regular potatoes, but you do what you gotta do. Um, so I cut these into little cubes. Sometimes I use my food processor that cuts them into french fry form, which is super easy because it does the work for me. And there's a little guy and hubby. Say hi. And yeah, um, sweet potato is great for a side dish as well, for salads or, um, you know, just to eat. Even Ollie likes them. I sometimes leave him some that are unflavored so he can eat them as well. I personally season them with some olive oil, some salt, and some paprika. And sometimes I do garlic powder too, which I didn't do for this one, but that's also a great option. I usually cook them on 400 for about like 25 to 30 minutes. You want to make sure that your fork goes through it because a hard sweet potato does not taste good. So make sure that they're nice and soft. And then you can transfer them over as well into another container and you're all set. Next up is a vegetable. So I do love steaming this vegetable. Sometimes I put it in the oven as well, but it is broccoli. It is John's favorite. It is a must have in this household every week. It is pretty much like the only vegetable he will eat. So I usually do three to four broccoli heads and it'll last us for the week. We just add it as a side dish. Um, he likes to add it to his lunch and sometimes I make, well I actually never flavor these, um, sometimes Ali will eat it as a treat as well. Make sure that your fork goes through the broccoli, you don't want them too mushy. When they start getting kind of like colorless it means you overcooked them and don't get me wrong, sometimes I am totally guilty of that but try to make sure that they're the perfect green. And while all this stuff is cooking as well, you want to cut up your onions. I like to do red ones for salads specifically. It's the only thing that I use it for. So it's easy to just sprinkle it on. And then I like to also cut white onions up. John loves to use this for his eggs in the morning. Um, it's so easy to just you know take it grab it put it on the pan and make it with your eggs it's also great for um, cooking soups and things like that during the week uh, so it's definitely so easy having it all cut up and ready to go next up is cucumber so I usually cut up two uh, be careful with cucumber because it doesn't last as long as like the onions and everything so you want to make sure you eat it before it goes bad. If you feel that it's going bad um, before it does actually, you may want to juice it, 
put it in a smoothie. You can also use this for salads as a side dish as well. Or you could just eat it as a snack if you really want to. And if you like cucumber as a snack, I do recommend cutting it up maybe into like sticks or just keeping them as slices instead of cubes. But I cube them because I mostly use them for salads. And of course, little guy likes these too. He knows every time I am cutting them up and asks for one. Next up is some pepper. I chose a yellow and red pepper this time. We have lately been choosing like, you know, the yellow and the orange peppers, even though they're more expensive, but they do seem to have more vitamin C and more vitamin A in general than the red. Uh, I think they all taste very good. My least favorite would be green. I use that for cooking mostly, but these are great for salads again and to add into your eggs or egg muffins and things like that. So I just cut them up into cube pieces as well so they're ready um, just to sprinkle onto anything. So there you have it, you have your choice of peppers, you got your cucumbers all sliced up, and you got your red and yellow onion ready for you to put in the fridge. So those are my seven must-have foods that I prep for the week, and I do it every week just to make sure that cooking, meal prepping, and eating is much easier throughout the day. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it inspired you to do a little bit of meal prep.